We're spending a whole day looking back at the Metal Gear Solid franchise, where it's been, where it's going, where a vacation in the fall of 2005. The answer Vermont, because Snake loves syrup. And now we find out where the franchise is right now with our review of Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Metal Gear games have a proud story tradition of homoerotic subtitles, like the Snake Eater or the Twin Snakes. That's why Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops for the PSP is such a letdown. I mean, why couldn't they have named it MGS the Serpent Sucker or maybe MGS the Python Hunter? Land subtitle aside, we're happy to report that this entry is a lot of fun. Forget the turn-based controls of the acidic spin-offs, this game works almost exactly like its console brethren. Sneak around in the shadows and infiltrate enemy bases populated by not entirely brilliant guards. What was that? What's up with these guys? They know I'm under the truck, but apparently can't bend over and shoot me. I guess we'll just have to come back to this one. At the beginning of the game, you're captured by the military unit that you used to work for. You're interrogated and then stomped in the groin. Look, I don't know anything. Now, can you please stop standing on my testicles? It's up to you to figure out why the Fox unit has turned evil and what's up with evil leader Gene, who has the uncanny ability to hypnotize his soldiers. I apologize for any sense of urgency. God, I wish I could do that. After the ludicrous bosses and campy dialogue of Part 3, the storyline in this entry is actually pretty down to earth. Yes, only in the context of this series could a tale about cybernetic ninjas and split personality psychics seem low-key. What we love about Portable Ops is that Snake isn't fighting alone. For the first time ever, you can recruit an entire army of friends who'll help you along the way. Take this unwitting guard, for example. All you have to do is knock him out, drag him back to your truck, and then convince him to join your side. Will you join us? Of course, dragging bodies around gets tedious. Just ask John Wayne Gacy. Since your allies are usually wearing the same outfit as the bad guys, you can explore the levels undetected. Don't mind me, guys. I'm on your side. Speaking of blending in, I should probably check back in and see if those guys shot Snake yet. Ha, nope, still waiting. On the plus side, we love the non-linear nature of this entry. You could revisit any of the levels to snag new recruits. Throw in an online mode similar to the one in subsistence and quicker paced missions, and you're looking at a solid new helping of Metal Gear. The only downside is that the analog knob on the face of the PSP doesn't allow for any finesse. Controlling Snake is more frustrating than a three-stage boss battle with Revolver Ocelot. Hey look, they finally kneeled down and shot me. Dreams do come true. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops gets a four. Out of five.